Pratt, the uh, TikTok controversy is one of the first things that President Paris Hilton will have to deal with in her new administration. And Paris, if in fact you are elected the new leader of the free world, I want to be in the cabinet as the director of protocol. I've always <laughs> wanted that job. Uh, can we agree to that? Thank you. I love your pink tie today, so I'll consider it. All right. <laughs> there, for, for, let's uh, show your announcement. Here we go. Paris for president. Make America hot again. <laughs> there we go. Yes. Uh, on the 4th of July, uh, much reaction, much traction to this, or was it just kind of a thought for the weekend and you're not really pursuing it? Actually, one of my fans made the artwork and I just thought it was so cute and funny, so I posted it. So, no, I'm not running, but I wanted everyone to laugh. Okay, I think people got uh, were amused by that. How is quarantine going? And then all the ladies here, and I don't know if he was in your shot when we were off the air, uh, are you quarantining with Carter? Yes, I am. So it's been really nice. Um, this is the first time in my life that I've been at home. I'm used to traveling over 250 days a year. So just to be at home together and enjoying time and cooking and doing art and spending time with my animals. It's been a lot of time to reflect on my life and what's important. All right, let, let's talk about that for a moment because I think somebody like you, who we always think of as completely on the go, when you have this, this period of reflection, what do you think about? You've, you've accomplished a lot. Thank you. I'm just thinking about just so many important things happening in the world and really spending my time on great causes that I believe in and I've really had that time to reflect on that and just how to make the world an even better place. What is it about Sasha that has inspired you to get involved in this new project? I love Sasha. We've been friends for years and I think it's amazing. She's so strong and so inspiring and she has cerebral palsy, but she uses her passion for fashion to make art and help children at the Children's Hospital of Los Angeles through art therapy and she has her clothing pro project called Sasha Project LA and all of the funds go to this charity. So we've been working together for years and I love her and I just think she's a beautiful light in this world. Well, I tell you what, apparently amongst the items for fundraising is the opportunity to have lunch with you. Obviously that'll be post pandemic. What would lunch with Paris Hilton be like? Will you pick the place? Yes, we're gonna go to one of my favorite restaurants so people can go to prizeo.com slash Paris and you can enter to win the sweepstakes and we'll fly you and a guest out, put you in a beautiful hotel, and then we will get to spend the day together, have lunch, and just have a great time together. Of course, when everything is over and it's safe to do it. All right, when we're having lunch together, Paris, and I, I don't know, I, I have two thoughts in my mind about this. Do you order big off the menu or do you just order like nothing? A lot, I love food, I'm a total foodie, so we'll be ordering all of my favorite treats <laughs> <laughs> all right paris uh, if you want to enter to win a lunch date with paris hilton support the sasha project uh there it is it's prize ezo p-r-i-z-e o.com slash paris all of this helping to support children's hospital los angeles uh tell me about what you've seen in terms of how art therapy is really helpful to kids who are in the hospital it's so helpful um i've been working with los angeles children's hospital for many years and I've went there for different, for Halloween, we've done uh, decorating pumpkins together and for Easter and just for Christmas time and really just spending time together and doing art. And it just really brings so much happiness and light to these children who really are in need of it. So the Sasha Project, tell me how you came to, to meet Sasha, first of all, and um, how you first became aware that she was doing this, uh, this really cool fashion project. I met Sasha years ago and then she asked me to be a part of her Sasha Project LA runway show uh, where celebrities and I all went on the runway with children from the hospital and walked down the runway in her beautiful designs and just seeing how happy everybody was and just what an amazing project it was. I was so excited to do more work with them and then they asked me to be a part of this charity for the sweepstakes and I thought it was a fantastic idea. What's your uh, what's your relationship with Sasha like? Are you sort of like a maybe like a like like a big sister to her, or do you just sort of like just a pal? I consider her my little sister, and I'm so proud of her. And I think it's incredible that at such a young age, she's 12 years old. She's been doing this for years now, and to use her passion for fashion 
and for art and creativity to raise funds for this cause, I think is just so admirable, and I am just so proud of her. I think it's incredible at that age to be a philanthropist and to be giving back in such an amazing way. Has she been uh, doing okay during quarantine? Uh, has she been like keeping her spirits up and continuing to do her art? Yes, she's always continuing to do her art and that's always keeping her spirits up and bringing so much happiness to people. And I think that's so important. And I love doing art as well. So I know how much happiness it brings me. So it's just amazing to see all the designs she makes and just bringing light and beauty to the world. How did you come to meet her initially? Was she a patient at a hospital that you visited? Yes, she was. And then I met with her mother and also the people at the charity. And that's when we became close. It must be really nice when you go to the hospitals, especially when you meet the younger kids and you're not like, you're not Paris Hilton. You're just somebody there who can sort of get down, roll up your sleeves and just be with the kids. That must be a really kind of nice change of pace for you. It's such a rewarding feeling. I love children. I've always been a kid at heart and just making people smile and making people happy is something that makes me so happy. So I just feel so grateful to be involved with this charity and to spend time with the children and they bring me as much happiness as I bring them. What's up, you're on Mario Lopez. Joining me now on Zoom, actress, model, entrepreneur, my girl Paris Hilton. Welcome back. How are you, Paris? I'm doing great. How are you? I'm doing great. So first question, how are you stuck in time? You've looked exactly the same for the last 20 years since I've uh, <laughs> I think I've seen you. You seem to just capture this Benjamin Button um, model. Thank from you. The day. Um, it's all about my Paris Hilton Pro DNA skincare line. Hey! <laughs> there my it is. But yeah, I have to say the same thing about you. Oh, you're very sweet. We both have that button. <laughs> I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to get some of that uh, skincare line. I'm sending Much like the cologne, which is fantastic. Thank you. That Papa Lopez is a big fan of right there. Yes. Um, so is this true? It looks like you're following Kanye and running for president. What exactly is your platform, Paris? <laughs> to paint the White House pink. <laughs> That's tremendous. Yes. <laughs> I know you mentioned that uh, you're in LA at the moment. You've been here during this whole time, during yes. this, when this pandemic hit. Yes, I've been quarantining at home with my boyfriend. So, you know, I try to think of the silver lining and everything, and I just think it's been an amazing time because, you know, for the past two decades, I've been traveling over 250 days a year for work. Yeah. So this is the first in my life that I've actually been stuck in one place. Wow, so this is the longest you've stayed still since when? Since I was a kid, literally. Wow. Yeah. Wow. And do you, do you like it? Is it is it fun or are you chomping at the bit to jump out of play? I, I love it actually because it's the first time to be able to do it. So I've just really been focusing on my work and art and cooking and my pets and enjoying time at home with my love and just, you know, trying to make the most out of this. Um, you're, you're always juggling so much, and, and like you mentioned earlier, you're used to traveling, of course. Is there anything going on music-wise? I want them to know. Yes, I've actually been working a lot on new music. Um, so I'm about to release my new single called Summer Rain. And then I also just did a music video for a new single that's coming out next month with the Nervo Twins. So I'm very excited about that. And I also wrote a love song for my boyfriend, which will be out soon. So let's talk about the Sasha Project. Uh, this was started by a 12-year-old girl. How, how did the, the two of you strike a friendship? Um, we've been friends for a couple years now. I consider her my little sister. And I just think that she's so brave and so inspiring at such a young age to be a philanthropist and using her creativity and art to bring joy and light to others and raising funds for such an important cause because art therapy is so important to these children who are in hospitals and just doing art really helps them out and brings up their spirits and it's really incredible what she does and I just love and admire her so much. Well, good for you, that's awesome. And, and you're helping Sasha too by giving away a special lunch date with you. So how can fans enter and uh, where are you taking them to eat? Well, everyone could enter the sweepstakes. You donate at prizeo.com slash Paris and the winner will win for them and a guest to be flown out by us and put up in a hotel. And then we are gonna spend the day together and go to lunch and we're gonna pick out, I'm gonna give them a choice of whichever restaurant they want out of my favorites. 
and nice. let's have a fun day together. So it's going to be a really great cause and a lot of fun, a really special experience. And of course, we're going to do it back when the world is safe, which we're all praying will happen very soon. Yes, prayers up. Thank God. And hopefully the end is in sight right there.